Welcome to the Prototype Toronto League Season 10 Quarterfinals. Hello, Spain, California, Madrid. Uh, we're here casting tonight from 401 Games in the heart of Toronto. I'm Aaron P. I'll be joined shortly by Devin Monkhouse. And tonight we're watching Evan Cameron play off against Jeff Vasiri. Now, Evan Cameron uh, is a big name in Vassal. Uh, this past season in Vassal, he was in the Core World Coat and came second just after Fildo, that's Philip Horney, and just above Paul Heber. Uh, so he's looking at moving in to the top rank of Vassal next season. Jeff Asiri uh, is a regular player from around here. He's done really well in some system opens um, and some regionals. He is a diehard Imperial player. And tonight he is busting out an excellent list. Now, you might notice that these two lists feature no turrets, no bombs, no nim, and none of the, none of the really top tier stuff. Um, and that's because these guys decided on purpose to play a mid-tier match against each other. So, uh, they agreed in advance on mid-tier lists, and these are the, these are the results. <clears throat> so, on the left, with Evan, we've got three Red Squadron veterans. That's right, not a named pilot among them. Uh, two of the Red Squads are identical, that's number one and two. Um, and they've got Intensity, Flight Assist Astromex, Calm Relay, and Auto Thrusters. The last one has intensity, flight assist, astromech, and auto thrusters, but also has prime thrusters. I guess Evan didn't have the points to squeeze in that last one. On the right, we have Jeff's amazing good-looking list. We've got the star of the list, Blackout. And Blackout has intensity as well, so we're going to be seeing a lot of intensity go off this game. Fire control system and comm relay to bank and evade from intensity and auto thrusters. Then we have Backstabber and Night Beast, both classics dating back to wave one or two. Uh, I think Night Beast might have been a bit later than Backstabber, I can't remember for sure. And rounding that out, uh, he has an Omega Specialist with Fire Control System, Lightwave Frame, Spec Ops Training, and Trick Shot, uh, just for flavor. So what we're looking at tonight, folks, is a match full of skill and positioning. As you can see, everybody's bought small rocks, and they've got space between them. So adequate space for lanes is the plan. Now you'll notice over on Evan's side, Evan has three little tokens beside his X-Wings. Oh, he's painted the bottom one red as well. That's nice. Uh, and those tokens uh, will be referring to the intensity card. So as you see them right now, they've got paint on them and they're face up. That means intensity has not been exhausted. It's ready to go. Uh, Jeff will be doing the same with Blackout, although I believe his token will be blue. And those are custom PTL tokens. We give those out uh, during seasons of the PTL as participation prizes. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Prototype Toronto League, uh, the way it works is we do seven games in seven weeks in which you play a variety of opponents with a variety of lists. There's some special category matches you can have. You can have a Mercs matchup. You can have an OT that's original trilogy matchup with ships only from the original trilogy. Um, and you can purposely ask to play a mid-tier list against your opponent. Since we brought this last one in, we've seen a lot of these great games which are just full of great ships you don't get to see a lot of deep in flavor, deep in strategy. So what we're looking at tonight should be a very exciting match on those two scores, strategy and technique. So we've got the handshake. These guys are going to dials. Uh, as usual, we're here with uh, VTTV Live and we've got Victor over there near the table. He'll be assisting Jeff as Jeff has an arm injury. And hey. Devin's here now. Hey, Devin. I have just arrived at the uh, the casting booth. Absolutely. So how are the guys? Are the they guys, excited? Oh, they're both very excited for this match. They they prearranged. They talked about sort of what they didn't want to see what and uh, mm -hmm. and how they wanted to get play this out. Uh, neither of them really wanted a lot of ordnance or, or turrets on the on the board, so they mutually agreed to come to sort of like without revealing what they were going to fly. Uh, sort of come to an agreement about the, the, the type of game they were going to have. Like we did and in the final last season. It, absolutely. Awesome. And so this is, I'm super glad we were going to get this uh, 
on uh, no problem Tron 999 yeah uh, I'm super glad that we've got this uh, on stream and we've got this and we're gonna have this for for YouTube so but, as you can see uh, number three there that's the guy with primed is that the guy with primed uh, considering he has focus and evaded yeah so, so Colton Cowie, mid tier is kind of a flexible idea, but if what you if you use the last way to define it, the final way to define it, your last line of definition is you go to uh, meta analyzer, and if the list you're planning on bringing isn't any one of those in the top forty, it's mid tier. So what I'm gonna say is number three has Carmule because he's focused and evaded, right? Uh, but we'll see if number one does that as well, uh, right. and we can maybe get confirmation on that later. Uh, so. I've just spoken to both of these players about their plans. Mm -hmm. um, Jeff said something really interesting to me that I haven't heard before, and that's he. Damn pla straight, Scott Ross. He Sorry, planned his opening when he be planned the list. And no other player has said that this is my planned opening, no matter what, this is what I'm going to do every game. Mm -hmm. So some people have that with a list that they practice a lot, and he figured out. Oh, this is what something that he would just do, uh, or this is the plan, and he's sticking to it. Mm -hmm. So he said that uh, both of them love each other's lists, which was really great to hear, right? Jeff said he didn't want to joust. He's going to try not to joust Evan. He just doesn't think that he can handle how tanky those ships are. Right. Right? Uh, and he's going to try and swing blackout wide. And, uh, and sort of play a slow game, try and trap one of Evan's ships uh, out from the others. Hunt him down. Exactly. Uh, and he definitely stressed that. He was like, I don't want to joust. I'm going to try and swing wide. going to try and come around, try and proc black, you know, charge up blackouts, calm relay, try and set up fire control. You know, he's going to take him a couple of turns to charge the calm relay with intensity, and then do a green, you know, uh, or not a green, do a maneuver, get a focus, recharge intensity so he's able to come in, do focus target lock evade on that that attack right well so far it looks like he's trying to slowly engage but evan is not really letting him have it no and jeff was really concerned that he, that evan would just like bomb in four forwards from every ship four mm -hmm. forward boost with those x-wings right so evans actually said he's going to be playing kg as well so he's scared of the high attack die that jeff's able to push out with mm -hmm. the with with blackout Right, using his ability to throw that extra die with Backstabber, throwing that extra yep. die with Omega Specialist, doing the same thing, throwing extra dice, right? And Night Beast just sitting in there being Night Beast, I guess. I guess. <laughs> so Evan's goal is he's going to stay away from the rocks cause, or, or keep away from rocks to try and not get Jeff's ability procking, mm -hmm. and he's going to take what he can get. He said he's going to prefer Backstabber first. Yeah. But he's going to take whatever Jeff gives him. Whatever Jeff engages with, he's going to go all in on that and take it down first. So we see the blue token has been flipped face down. That means intensity has been exhausted on blackout. This is great. I'm really glad that we've got all both players. We've got four copies of intensity here, a beautiful card. <laughs> and I'm glad we've got all four, all four intensities being marked the exact same way. Woohoo, look at that. And Flip there we go. Up. I was wrong. Number three is the prime thrusters, yeah. so... Perfect. There we go. This is really interesting. We do see Jeff swinging wide, and uh, what's Evan gonna do? Both both the T70s and the uh, the Sci Thai silencers are very fast ships, mm -hmm. right? The T70s with the flight assist astromech, and the the Thai silencer with that beautiful, gorgeous green dial it's got yep. is just one hell of a ship. Jeff could be around past that second asteroid, around back behind number one, next turn, if yeah. he wanted to. Now, I'm not used to seeing one of these uh, silencers without advanced sensors. So mm -hmm. he's actually going to have to take actions after he moves. Yes. How strange. Well, that also makes him, uh, in my mind, it makes him less squirrely, mm -hmm. but it keeps him fast. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he won't be doing anything with stress to himself on purpose. Now, those... I'm worried about Backstabber down here, number two. Backstabber is not really in the right place, is he? Backstabber's in trouble, especially since we know Evan is headhunting him. Mm -hmm. So Evan's going after him, and there's uh, he's not an advanced sensor's Kylo Ren. No. He can't get out of there. So this is just a really 
It's going to be really interesting. I think he is going to lose uh, Backstabber very quickly. As we can see in a classic match like this, I'm going to go ahead and call it classic because this is yeah. a lot like X-Wing before a lot of the big powerhouses got into it. I mean, this we is do the have, X-Wing we all want X-Wing to be right here on screen. We've got double actions on a lot of these ships, but they're all ships with Erks. Right. Um, there are no crew either on the table. Uh, yeah. This is all just upgrades. Uh, much of it for first order, but of course we've got the classic backstabber nineties. But as I was saying, in these sort of classic matches, you really have to think about your positioning a couple rounds in advance. You can't get trapped, and that may well be what happens to number two backstabber backstabber <laughs> here. No, Backstabber and Nightbeast. Oh, sorry. Yes, are Guillaume, gorgeous. those are mining ties. Yeah, they're mining ties. They were painted up by Eric Z for the, the Prototype Toronto League Open mm -hmm. that we held last March. and Or March 2017. Yeah, whenever that was. And uh, we'll be holding the next one in September 2018, and we'll hopefully have many more painted ships to give out uh, at that event. Here Which we go. Awesome. Checking for Flight Assist Astromech on the Prime Thrusters Red Squadron. And we're seeing a boost from Evan. He's being very aggressive. That was a really cool uh, attack vector, right? He did a two bank, and then he did a straight boost. So what that has enabled him to do is a move you wouldn't normally see. He's done intensity. He's evaded. Now right. he's checking for target lock on Backstabber. There it goes. Ooh. Can Backstabber even get out? Hard one barrel roll back? Maybe. Now, what I also like about both of these players is uh, they don't buy their acrylic like some of the other local guys. So anything you <laughs> see on the table, they've earned. Uh, Evan using his 401 uh, target oh, wow, locks there. Look Barrel roll with flight assist from number two, X-Wing. Beautiful positioning there, keeping his ships together. And that gives him a focus. That gives him a focus, but I don't think he'll be able to take a target lock there. Uh, no, but he's going to boost because he hasn't done that yet. Oh, you are correct. He's rapidly running out of options on the action bar for these ships. <laughs> he is, yeah. If he gets any more actions, he's not going to have anything left in the bar to do with them. That's a, a beautiful 34-point monster right there. That's awesome. I love the red net. Are you going to be flying on a list similar to like this in the next season? Uh, I don't know. It hadn't, hadn't occurred to me to fly red bets like this. Um, yeah, sure. I might take it up. Have you already uh, talked up Evan's uh, record this season in the Vassal League, how he's been doing? I did indeed. That's right. So, yeah, right in between Fildo and Paul Heaver. That's yeah. where Evan sits in Vassal League. It's, uh, that's uh, a nice place to sit. Nothing to brag about, really. Now, this is a very interesting... He right, there it the is. Boost. There it is. I wonder what he was contemplating there. They may have been talking through the rule set or something. So we got Victor helping Jeff position his ships. Jeff had surgery on his arm, but even that will not stop him from playing X-Wing. Here we are. So this I, I, uh, the other a barrel roll. Little fella. Yeah. So barrel rolls. Look at them all come in together nice and tight. He gets his focus. And does he do the boost as well? Seems he's, like he should. Absolutely. He's going to be out for target lock, so... Very nice position by Evan, Evan keeping all of the ships together. And he's going to be able to delete whatever ship is dangling out at the end, and that looks like it's going to be Backstabber, who is not looking like he's going to be able to get his ability off at all. So Night Beast foregoes a green move to too hard and point himself towards the incoming ships. Now Night Beast assigns himself a focus token, correct? When he does a green maneuver. When he does a green maneuver? Right? Yeah, which he did not do. Often I'll see him with Time Arc 2. Uh, it's something uh, oh, yeah. Not here, adds though. him a little, uh, extra, a little extra green to that dial. Now, Night Beast and a Silencer, let's, I, I, think, I think that would be a great ship. Man. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. A lot All right. of the TIE Fighters, the original TIE Fighters have amazing abilities. It's just they're trapped in those TIE Fighters. Now, here's Backstabber. Was bait out the back. One heart away. Now, oh, that's nice. The barrel roll may get him out of all but one arc. No, two arcs. Or he, maybe none. <laughs> maybe none. But he can just focus or evade. He's sitting out there at range two, maybe three. He's probably not going to take no damage, but he might be all right. Yeah, I think unless he can barrel roll out of two's arc, he's dead. 
All right. Well, some of those were obstructed. He does only have one action, though, being a TIE fighter. Yeah. So. And then he's just got to hope for good dice variants. No, that also helps him be obstructed versus two, if that uh, if that's even in. So he clearly caught that uh, he'd mispositioned there. There was nothing else for him to do. I mean, he could have done a five straight, maybe. A five straight forward would have just uh, lit him up. Oh, yeah, sorry. He wasn't facing northwards. Yeah. I think he expected Jeff to come more into the middle of the map and he was going to try and get backstep around the side. Yeah, it's a very cautious move with um, Blackout. But Jeff said he was going to do that, that he was going to wait to engage with Blackout. He wanted to get her get it around the, her around the side. So and, we're on to uh, shooting now. Yeah. And, and one is shooting at uh, three or four there. Oh, this is Jeff. Yeah, all his ships shoot first. So we've got four... And auto thrusters. So, that, that was... These ships are tanky as hell. <laughs> he didn't even spend a token. And now the Omega Specialist on X-Wing number one. Oh, oh it helps when you roll all paint. That's Better great. dice than that. Or worse dice than... Oh, look. <laughs> and it gets him nowhere. <laughs> five, five hits to one damage. That's, uh... That's rough. That's something. Now, if he's very lucky, the X-Wings will achieve about the same. Oop. Oh, man. So, Evans got shots on those two guys with number yeah. one. Can he reach back, Stabber? Yep, no damage. No damage whatsoever. You said one damage. I got confused. Uh, yeah, sorry. We might have said... And disbelief, not one damage. Oh, and spends the focus on offense. That'll pose a little problem for him next round when he's at the end. When he's got a can't flip intensity. One damage on. Uh, looks like he's shooting at the uh, Omega Specialist there. Huh. Interesting. Split in his fire. Oh, maybe he, he he just they can see from the table that number X wing number one was not in range of backstabber. So now number two is also shooting. Four, four hits. Oh, three hits again. Three hits. Whoa. <laughs> and wow. Jeff spending that focus. Now he's rolling his lightweight frame with the dice. Yeah. Because that just makes everybody's life a lot easier. Yeah, unless Palps involved, there's no reason not to. No practical reason. No, and we've got, uh, oh. Target lock here. Target lock for, for four. For, for, for three. three. Sorry, you I got keep counting uh, problems today. Uh, oh, I'm not great with math. I, I took an arts degree for a reason. Oh, oh. that's just, uh, that's a dead backstabber right away. Boom. That was unlucky. I'm just off, just 16 points off the board. Wow. I don't know if you can hear him in the background, but Jeff definitely said wowzers. He was definitely surprised by that. He said wowzers and some other expletives that we shall yeah. not repeat. <laughs> Follow up with wow, I love TIE Fighters. So, I mean, like, he's Who doesn't not... love TIE Fighters? Oh, everyone loves TIE Fighters. All right, we've got uh, intensity being flipped back only on some ships. Yep, only so. on number th uh, X-Wing number three. Yep. Hey, Philippines. And so we've got... Uh, what do you think from number one? Uh, from uh, Test Pilot Blackout. Maybe a hard two in? He's going to start coming in on the on the side there. So these guys can Talon roll, boost. And now that their intensity is exhausted, yeah. they can't Talon roll, boost, and get a token. Yeah. So if I were uh, Blackout, I would take a three turn, yeah. go fast, plan on a boost. A boost for angle to pick out which, which, yeah. which uh, X-Wing you want to light up. Yeah, boost or barrel roll at that yeah. point and take some shots. He's got to get in close because those auto thrusters plus evade tokens make them really hard to hit. Now I'm expecting from Night Beast a two bank and probably the same from the Omega Specialist. Maybe a, a one or a three to how depend, depending on how he wants to to set up that engagement. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, uh, I think Evan might throw one of those uh, intensity exhausted X-Wings right in there for a block. Block both of those guys up. Four forward boost and just knock them out. Yep. And the other two do one straights and continue shooting at the Omega Specialist. Actually, you know what? If number two, uh, no, number one's probably gonna be the best one to do that with. If he did a three bank boost or a, a three hard and then boost in towards the two Tie Fighters, 
right? It might throw that type, them throw that X-wing right in the middle of them, <laughs> and uh, right where that two bank is going to be, right? So Nozick on the chat is reporting that there was a 0.5 percent chance of that roll, that defense roll occurring. Oof! Ouch! Ow. That's that's. Uh, Bad you know, odds have to, bad results have to occur to somebody. That's what I've learned in X Wing. Evan set up an attack where he had a focus and a target lock on that ship, and Jeff put it in a position where he had zero modifications on defense. Had he had a focus, it would have been able to, you know, modify. That's true. But had modify he stayed where he guy. was, all three of those X Wings would have lit him up for sure. Absolutely. So what do you? What do you do with the Mega Specialist and Night Beast here? Like I said, I think they're just going to slow. I think Night Beast is going to two bank. Mega Specialist maybe a maybe a, a one or a three. But that makes things hard. You, with those banks, you've really got to do. Uh, you really got to split them up, right? He's got them wide, so it might not be a problem. Mm -hmm. But if if four does a two bank, so if Night Beast does a two bank and Omega Specialist does a a one bank, if they're not far enough apart, they'll bump. Yeah. Uh, which is why you got to offset them. You can't line them up straight like that. Yeah. But you got to stagger the ships just a tad, and that'll really keep them, uh, keep them from bumping. So, I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to see. I think he's got them maybe a base length apart there, so they should be okay if they do different, uh, different banks. But I think, yeah, with Night Beast's ability, he's going to want to slow roll in for that focus of aid. You know, he might bail, but... You know, he... Oh. There's that three hard... Now, what I was saying is he might want to to boost in, right, for those blocks. But or he's barrel. definitely got to... But is blackout in his arc? Oh, he and is. So he can't absolutely, so he can't barrel roll. So now he's really got to think about it, right? Because if if uh, number four there, if if Night Beast doesn't actually bump in the, from this position, the, the hard three is a very powerful blocking move, yep. right? But if Night Beast doesn't isn't blocked in this moment, then it's going to be very it's going to be a rough round for number one. Yeah, especially since uh, Night Beast can do a bank to get his free focus and then barrel roll to take that shot outside yep. of number one's arc. He's going to be. Here it comes. Yep. I think that was the right call. That is very close to blocking that two bank. I think it will, but which there's a chance it won't. Which Night Beast still does that get his focus, I believe. Oh, of course. Right. So that's pretty cool. That's right. Night Beast is the original KFAR expertise Dengar build. Well, they they've they've they changed Night Beast's ability Did they? through the FAQ, I think twice now. Really? Re yes. Your yeah. TIE fighters see so much abuse, man. Yeah. Uh, there's there's well, this is interesting. Uh, uh, that looks like a bump on Evan's side. That means that that means that that angle must mean a lot to him, right? Like he wanted, he knew that was gonna bump, and that yeah. it was really important to him to be lined up in that way, probably to get shots on Jeff ships coming up or blackout. He can do these in either order he sees fit. So here we go. Here's the bank one we all expected. From the Omega Specialist, yeah. And that guy's got a target lock on the X-Wing, which has overshot him. Now, he does have a back arc, so he could consider a barrel roll to put the and do the double shot. That would be very nice. I would like to see that. But that would leave him focus. tokenless. Yeah, keeping the focus would be nice, too. Now, yeah, if, he'd had the, the right call. if he'd had the space for intensity on that Omega Specialist mm -hmm. instead of Trick Shot, that he would have been able to do both there. Here's the two bank. Which is going to fit. Oh, it is. Means It means that number one isn't going to get shot at. Yep. But we're going to get... Uh, yeah, it was a really good call on Evan's part to get number one out of the danger zone. I mean, he still might take fire from Blackout, but Blackout would really have to twist around that rock to get a decent shot. Now, I imagine at this point, there is focus of aid on Night Beast. Nice. At this point, we're going to see number two bear the brunt. Or number two X-Wing bear the brunt of the shots for this turn. What did you, you said, what, a hard three? Yeah. He does a hard two. A hard two, which is what you called. And, uh, yeah, a hard three. Boost to get a shot. Boost to get a shot. 
Now, I think the hard three would have been the better move because it would have uh, positioned him around that mustache rock. Yeah. Right? He's got he's thinking interceptor dial. Yeah. He doesn't need to worry about those greens. He doesn't need, need to be a green maneuver. Well, he goes for target lock, which he can't get. Yeah. But a lot of players do that for information about what they're going to do and uh, See, what space they need to do. See, I think I might have done the straight boost there. I mean, he's the one looking at the angles. But if he could have straight boosted, he'd have the rock for sure in between him and number two. He might have it here. He might see, have a better view. It goes against all of your instincts as an X-Wing player to oh, do sure. that sort of a move, right? right? So now he's he had the evade from before. Mm -hmm. He has intensity for the focus. Now he's checking for the target lock. All right. Jeff is using his one good arm to check arc. That's all he needs, one good arm. Now I think he's decided to shoot number three. It's not a bad call. It is unobstructed. Yeah. Both are range three, so it doesn't really matter. Does he spend the focus? Does he spend the target lock? Yeah, he doesn't have one. Mm. Woo! It doesn't matter. Yeah. Auto thrusters nope. takes care of him. Those beautiful monsters of ships. And then there's those PTL season 10 target locks. Oh, yeah, he's got FCS, so yeah. he's acquired one now. Okay. Yeah. Then we have X-Wing number two. No, sorry. Uh, it's going to be the Omega Specialist. Omega Specialist. Engine number two. Yeah. Try to get the focus token off the X-Wing. He's going to be able to switch his uh, target locks after this shot as well. So. Oh, he's shooting at number three again. Yeah. No tokens on number three, and it's a range two shot. So he just gets one. And the X-Wing dodges it. Well, we're Oof. here for a long match, folks. And he moves the target locks over. Oh boy. So he's planning to survive. He's not planning, he doesn't want to lose a single shield here where he doesn't have to. Jeff's, Jeff's playing very conservatively. Spends the focus from Night Beast because he's got double actions. And we got double eyeballs. Somebody's taking damage. Again, shooting at number three, I would imagine. Right. Number three, yes. Yeah, and he's been focusing all of his shots there. So Did he get the damage through? I believe so. He believe he got uh, two damage in. Now, Omega Specialist's already lost the shield, so I imagine we're seeing... Just one from the tokenless action. Oh. Jeez! Jeff can't get a... So that's another damage on the Omega Specialist. Unfortunate, but not totally awful. This is the far more scary shot. I mean, Jeff's rolled uh, eight, oh my eight gosh. green dice with no results at this point. Oh. All right, we need, we need some paint here. He there, gets it, okay, so there he only go. takes two. Only two. Well, that means the Omega Specialist's on two hull. Yeah, which is bad news. And we do have two shields off X-Wing number three, which is the prime thrusters guy. Yeah. And he's an easy, low-hanging fruit target because he wasn't pulling that evade token around. And I imagine that was Jeff's choice, and that played into his decision-making, is that number X-Wing one and X-Wing two both were pulling those evades with them, and it's gonna, just going to be an extra token to get rid of. So it's easier to shoot up number three. Mm -hmm. Most of the shots are the same. Why not? Have at it. Well, Blackout, I think, at this point he's Jeff Slot's backstabber. He's about to lose a Mega Specialist probably in the next round of combat. Blackout's got to do a lot of work now. Yeah. He's really got to make those... It's now a he has 40 the PS advantage and he has intensity. So, you know, there's some chance Yeah. but it's got it's a lot of work. I mean, there's a lot of X-Wings left, and he's got to kill. He has to end with Blackout versus an X-Wing in order to win on points. Yeah. And that's a tall order. But the Omega Specialist isn't dead yet. No, no. Uh, I might be putting it out to pasture before it's time. Yeah. But uh, it's it's certainly... Certainly we would have wanted to see some paint on that first evade roll from, the, from it. Yeah, I mean, that's some ugly green dice that he's getting. So, X-Wing number one, Talon rolls or K-turns, whichever he feels. Ooh, you think? Talon roll? Yep. No, I, think, I think Evan's done a great job of positioning his ships so as to prevent Jeff's abilities from proccing, especially with Blackout. He's setting up that engagement, bringing it through where he's going to be, his ships are going to be in the middle of big open lanes, mm -hmm. right? Definitely that's on his mind, right? Setting it up, working it out, pushing 
pushing his ships and pushing the engagement into specific areas so as to hinder Blackout's ability. That's uh, certainly something to pay attention to. Like, I'm not sure about forward. the self bump with number three last round. No, you don't think that was intentional? Um, no, it might have been intentional. I'm not sure that it was strategically a great idea. Um, and I do think that Jeff came out of that round with a lot better position than he could have hoped for. Right. I expected that. I expected blocking him to get a blocked all up. There. Certainly, Evan cost himself a, a focus and an evade that could have helped him on that round. Yeah. I mean, that went well for Evan, but part of it was about Jeff's triple blanks. He was not necessarily punished for that bump. Yeah. yeah. No need to tell and roll with FAA. Um, well, it's a question he, from he chat, can, yeah. He can get back around. Timo777. So, you seven. Get, so he's talking about maybe doing a hard two and a boost, trying to uh, swing back he could. around. Now, his intensity is exhausted. Um, so he had won a bank of focus token there. Yeah. Two yeah. hard barrel roll boost does a lot without stress. True. Yeah. But so, uh, being way behind those two ships, a K turn, for example, is a nice piece of board position. Now, number one could also just bail. He could just get out of dodge. He could four forward boost and focus, right? Recharge intensity. Or, or yeah, recharge intensity, come around, right? Evade next turn, charge his com relay, come back around. Right, recharge intensity. You could just like just fly away with that ship while the other two brawl for a bit, charge everything up, bring it all back up, power the comm relay and, and his intensity, and True then that. re engage. But, but number one, X Wing number one, is in great health. Yeah. I mean, here I think that Evan's best strategy is going to be kill that Omega Specialist as quickly as he can and take control of this game. Hmm. Like full control. Right. Um. Blackout's got to do some work here. I guess you use Blackout to go after number three if you can find a way to do that. I think I, three's going to do one straight probably. It's going to be a problem. I'm, I'm, I'm going to expect a very conservative move from from Blackout here, either setting up a, something obstructed. If he expects a uh, one forward from number three, then maybe a, a one bank or two bank in over the rock, mm -hmm. right? Advanced sensors would be great right now on Blackout. Yep. Right, especially with with advanced sensors and intensity, you can get yourself into those positions behind, directly behind a rock, so everything's obstructed, now and, then, and then get out of there yeah. before you move. Blackout's intensity is exhausted. It is. So he's he's got to. Everybody but number three's intensity is exhausted, actually. So he's going to roll in and focus. So yeah. that's why I'm expecting a more conservative move here. Good point, right? good point. And then he's going to go slow. He's got his target lock. He's got his evade. He's going to focus, and he's going to light something up, hopefully number three. Uh, and if it's obstructed, it's obstructed. And that's why I'm expecting him to swing into the middle of the map mm -hmm. and try and get that... Bank that, two right? The, yeah, right? yeah, bank bank two right. and Or, yeah, down board. And, and sort of try and, and, and make that very small rock as much of his arc as possible. So well, we'll have to see where his corner ends up, and then he might be punishing himself. He might, because he, he'd have to fly through a rock next he'd round. He'd have to fly through a rock next round. So. At six hull, that's not six health, it's not so bad, but it will deny him an action in that subsequent round. So that's, that's not true. Good. That's true. Which he will need to recharge if he, doesn't, if he is unable to recharge intensity, if he spends his focus on offense this round. Oof. This is going to be... Both of them are taking some time to think about this. Yep. We're at the 45-minute mark. Yeah. This is a very... This is where you would expect them to take some time for a round to extend. People are thinking about what they want to do, how they want to do it. I remember right. games like this. Like before NIM and trajectory simulators, where, you know, you'd be thinking the whole game. There would be like... You know, 50 minutes, 60 minutes of game with thinking. Yeah. I remember that. Chat chat was right. Here's a talon roll. Is it talon roll? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Hard three. Hard three. So. And then. Oh, and then a barrel, barrel roll backwards. Okay, so he's just getting them out. Which is what I said might be. might be. Uh, I expect him to go around the rock and to disappear for a few turns. So I'm going to say on the record chat and Devin are right and I am wrong. No, but he didn't. He didn't. He didn't tell and roll. Chat was wrong. 
No, no, I said town roll. Chat said to Oh, uh, he just barrel just just bomb out of there? Yeah. Which which makes a lot of sense, right? Because he can go away, recharge his intensity, come back in, evade, do it again. Yeah. Interesting, I did not expect I did not expect number two to bail like that. He's just disengaging. Yeah. Wild. But with these tanky ships, he's up on points. He has he can he has he can play for time, right? He can afford to do this, and he's making use of his flight assist astromex to behave and and move in unpredictable ways that Jeff might not expect. Well, he's got the two sports cars X wings out of danger now by doing this. Absolutely. Uh, we'll see what happens with the little Honda hatchback of the the, the prime thrusters guy. It's just one point difference. Oh, two points difference. Two points difference. That's, that's uh, and another hard three. So another he's just, engaged, yeah. just bailing with everyone. Interesting. Let's see what Jeff calls here. I mean, this is. I mean, Evan's an incredible pilot, um, and this bespeaks a full-fledged strategy, not just an impulse, but as you were saying, Devin, a full-fledged strategy on his part. Yeah, he's um, definitely stuck to his guns. Yeah. You yeah, should be tempted. You're up. You've got all your ships pointed in the right direction. You, you could talon roll with uh, the back one. You get the other two, just slow roll forwards, and you just get that joust, and you just punch Evan's ships until they go away. Mm-hmm. But here, he's locking down that victory. At this point, he's ahead on points, right? Locking down that victory by going, recharging those tanky ships, getting the set, resetting up intensity, resetting up those 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 calm relays. And he's and flying them like X-Wings in the movies. Yes, They abso- came in, they strafed, they get out. Yep, absolutely. Awesome. Except for Poe, who shoots like 12 TIE Fighters down in, in 1.5 seconds in The Force Awakens. In Interesting, Force Jeff... K turning with backstabber. I don't think we really wondered where backstabber was going, but that does make move. some sense. Uh, with you know, K turning behind X wings is generally a, a good move. was a good move. Uh, waves one through <laughs> uh, four, and interesting move here from Omega Specialist. I expected like a one forward floating forward, uh, bumping into one ship, you know, yep. getting uh, big dice on one and, and shooting backwards at another. But we've just got a. It's like a leisurely range two or range three shot there out out at the back at so at the winged uh, X wing. It seems that Jeff has given Evan what Evan wanted, which is just some puny range three shots. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to. I'm waiting with beta. Tron nine 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 flight assist astromech. Is the answer to your question? Oh, there you go. He bo- he barrel rolled and then boosted. Yep. Fly Assist Astromech is a wonderful new card that came in the Sheathapede shuttle. And it allows, if there's no one in your firing arc, you can perform a boost or barrel roll, and then you can afterwards perform another action. Yay! So just another boost if you yeah. did the barrel roll with the first one. Now, this is very interesting from Jeff. Barrel rolling to get a shot on... The or to, to make space for Blackout. I, I do not doubt that that was too... It's just a two straight for Blackout. But if Blackout's going to boost... Maybe. I think he'll try to grab a target lock on three, even if this is a lousy shot. Or maybe he'll just focus so he can flip intensity. I don't know. Oh, he's got the target lock he's already. He's got the target lock already. He has fire control system on blackout. I'd, if I were him at this point, I'd give up all hope of doing any serious damage this round. I'll just think about the next one. Yeah, and yeah. you've seen that. He's going to focus. So we saw the conservative move from Jeff with blackout. It wasn't the bank. I thought it was two forwards pretty good. He'll be able to recharge intensity, be able to do something more tricky next turn. Probably hunt down one of these these uh, X wings. I mean, that's not bad. Is he going to spend the lock? He is. Yeah. He's going for it. Even with spend the, the lock, focus, though, I mean, he's see, looking. and he's taking some time here to think about it. Right? Does mm-hmm. he want to spend that focus? It really affects his next turn if he can't recharge intensity. He's and, he go- it. and he goes he's for the big guns. Uh. Big damage auto thrusters. Focus from that Tie Fighter or from that X wing. And away it goes. Ouch. He should have kept the focus. Yeah. It was folly. Ah, but, but, we do have the rear shot. Gambler's fallacy there. Awesome. Two evades. And spend the evade token. Spend the evade token, yeah. <laughs> so all that successfully happened this round is a couple ships won't be able to turn their... Uh, He's still got backstabber to shoot. Backstabber's got a shot. And, and intensity is gone. Yeah. Yep. 
That's all. So, that's, oh, backstabber. You're right, you're right. But number three will not be able to recharge it's night beast, his. Not backstabber. Night beast. My apologies. So if it were backstabber, he'd be having a party. He'd be like, oh, and I got backstabber. Behind. Yeah, that three three die cannon. Cannon. Oh, three dice. But three dice was be able to describe it as a cannon. If you ever did get backstabber behind somebody back in the day, it was beautiful. It, it was a party. Yeah, absolutely. Now, so, just about all the time, they'd shoot backstabber down. Checking for there. arc here. And we, if they roll dice, then we know what they're doing. I think he has to shoot two. We've got Victor's arm in there. It's very close. Oh, uh, it looks like they're hitting the base to me, whether that's... Uh, they're fixing the angle. Yeah. No, he's just got a shot on two. That's a shame. That's a shame. Yep, it's a fairly pointless shot. <laughs> this is, uh... Yep, whoa, that was nothing, a pointless shot. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> and none of the X-Wings have shots. Nope. So, I mean, for Evan, that wasn't uh, a bad round. Red 3 is not going to be able to recharge his intensity. But, uh... And I think that means it's going to be easier for him to chase in the next turn. We're going to see uh, Jeff sort of bring... Blackout in, so that he's going to get an obstructed shot on number three over that rock. Because the X-Wings now, he's pretty limited as to what he can do. He's going to get that flight assist astromech. So he's going to have the focus, the the, the, the boost barrel roll. Yep. But that would leave him tokenless. So he's going to only be limited to one reposition. And he can probably hard one or well, hard two with uh, Night Beast, should he so desire to like, get arcs on target. Uh, the Omega Specialist's out of it, unfortunately, but with the way he's hurt, Jeff probably wants to keep him out, keep him alive, because that Omega Specialist is worth almost one of these X-Wings. Yeah. You know? Now, do you sloop with the Omega Specialist if you're Jeff? No, I keep him... I, I would push him out of combat, because if, Je if Jeff's able to kill uh, Red 3... Mm -hmm. Right, that puts him back in the lead, and that means Jeff. Is, that means Evans got to be a lot more aggressive, yeah. right, to come back and take that Omega Specialist off the board. So if Jeff can bail with it, right, and then force Evan to f and kill something, and force Evan to fly more aggressively with his remaining X wings, right? That's a plan. I'm a little bit worried about Night Beast here. I mean, Night Beast is also uh, like if if Jeff loses Night Beast and Backstabber together. Right, they're still not worth one of the X. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Thirty-one right? points. <laughs> so together. it's not he's not too much of a liability. Mm -hmm. But right? he's got to kill an X wing. He has to kill an X wing. So he's so he's gonna brawl with Blackout and Night Beast. Hopefully kill Red Three, and keep him. And I would hope he keeps the Mega Specialist back and out because with three of eight dice, the way Jeff's been rolling and only two hull, well, that's a dead ship. That's it's toasty. So. He needs to preserve that MOV, right, yeah. for the end game state that we're getting into in the last half hour of this match. Now, what do you think is going to happen with Evan's ships here? I mean, Evan seemed to have a plan last round. I asserted that he did. That everything that Evan did is according to plan. So what's the plan here? Is he really going to three-churn those uh, number two and number three and then FAA to boost again and just try to churn around that rock? Or, and if he does, where does that leave number one? Number one has to turn back into the Imperials. I certainly think that Jeff expects, oh, sorry, that Evan expects Jeff to come after him with, with Night Beast and, and Blackout, mm -hmm. right? And certainly he's going to try and punish that aggressive move onto Red 3 with Reds 1 and 2. So with Red 2, we may see uh, that hard 2 barrel roll boost to come around the rock on this side with an, uh, with an intensity he'll have a focus of aid. Yep. Right? It's four actions on an X-Wing. It's um, crazy. Right? Yep. And with number one I, d I don't doubt that we'll just see a, you know, a hard move and then he's got plenty of options there. He's not going to be able to boost a barrel roll with uh, with Flight Assist Astromech because he'll have people in his arc. Yep. But he'll be able to take a target lock or a focus and, and be able to threaten. Well, he can do his normal X-Wing boost and get a focus token out of it because his intensity is unexhausted. That's true. He is could. it inexhausted? No, it's unexhausted. That's a, a, a point of, of language I'm not sure on. <laughs> but uh, a, a hard three 
certainly puts him in a position where he's got his arc covering everywhere Jeff wants to be to try and kill Red 3. So whether he decides to boost and try and make that uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a range one shot or not is uh, something we'll have to see as they get into revealing the go. dials. So we've got a three. Is it a talon or a turn? I think it's going to be a it's turn. It's a turn. It's a turn. It's uh, You can see here it's a white one. So with that, he can also... Oh, his intensity is down. Yeah, so he's but just he, focusing. But he could still fight his Sistastromach here. He could, but he doesn't want to. Uh, he's he's realized he's asking Jeff to wait, and oh, then he's he going is. to... Uh, it is said fly casual, so there we go. It's totally exciting, Nicholas. I mean, whatever happens here, this is some high-octane X-wing flying action. There's that. So he's Talon rolling with number two. That's interesting. It's not something I expected. I thought he might, but I wasn't going to say it out loud since my last predictions oh, were yeah. all incorrect. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So he Talon rolls, and he is... That's that's an interesting position to be in. He's I mean, got prime thrusters, so he can do the boost. Is so he forgotten? No, no, he doesn't have prime thrusters. He does man. not have prime thrusters. That one's running away. And so you can see here how he's positioned both of his ships to punish Jeff for following Red 3 and trying to kill it, right? Yep, as you said. Let's see. He can't boost with number one with uh, flight assist, but he could, as you said. Just action boost and use intensity. Yep. Try to wipe Night Beast off the map. He's got two X-Wings on him. But I would imagine if you don't have to, then uh, it might not be worth it for him to Beast wait to, to burn that intensity down. Because of the way that the intensity forces the patterning in the list, right? You really have to pay attention. It's not like intensity on Vader or, or Poe where you for get sure. like those multiple actions. And freebie, basically. Did not expect this from the uh, from the Omega Specialist coming around. Now, I'd imagine that we're going to see a barrel roll here. Yeah, he has to. He has to. He's not going to have arc on anybody. But as you said, maybe the idea is here, just get him out. Let uh, Blackout and Night Beast I can't work. imagine what Jeff was trying to do with that in terms of getting stuff in arc. Or any 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 of the Reds in, Red Squadrons in arc. He might barrel roll to his right, and then next round be set up for a sloop. Uh, if he barrel but rolls to his ship left, if he barrel rolls up board, then he, uh, he's just going to focus there. I guess he thinks a hard two to ship left will clear that debris next turn? Maybe. We'll have to see. that. This is something I did not expect from Night Beast. Huh. Uh, I expected a hard maneuver to chase uh, Red Squadron, Night, Beast, uh, Night Beast's ability to be damned. But there we go, three forward, clears the stress, gets him a, a focus and evade, and he's sitting in both ship's arcs. He's gonna trade range, trade range two, range two shots with red one. Is he just hoping to draw fire there? I have no idea. Okay. We've got a big five. Is that a big five? Is that wow. a five forward green? Now that's when I said this ship was fast. I meant it was fast. It's fast. But we'll have to see. Yeah. What they slap stop down. jumping the gun and reading it. No, it's three, a three, bank. three bank. Good call, good call. That's still a fast ship. Yeah. It's, uh, and here he'll be able to boost, boost for uh, that obstructed shot. No. Or not. Or just get in, get out a, get out a red two's arc into range one of uh, red three and see what happens. He's got focus. Oh, he's got target lock evade. Intensity has been used. Yeah. So we'll have to see. Looks like range what two he's got. shots from X wings one and two. So it looks like he's got to do something. He's boosting. He's it's, it's he's down. Boost. He's made Yo low. He made that decision, and then Victor does the move. Awesome. Poor Jeff getting uh, getting surgery there on his arm. All right. Like three or four times, unfortunately. I hear your arm gets messed up when you eat a bunch of electricity through it. <laughs> That's right. That's uh, his relationship. That's why he likes Imperials, because yeah. he's like Palpatine. He loves his electricity. So it's a uh, range two his... shot. Uh, spends the target lock. Okay. There we go. Take... And that's some money. Evan's so going to spend two. that focus. So two damage get through on X-Wing number three. So shield and one damage on hull. 
Well, he's spent uh, fire control there, not his turn. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what fire control is. Oh, yeah. 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 So fire control just allows you to reacquire a target lock after you shoot. So he had one going in, and he spent it. So this is uh, Night Beast shooting at I don't know who. I'm assuming number uh, red one. It's the only guy who's even close to an arc. Uh, I believe that should have been a damage, but I don't know. <coughs> we'll see. And Evan's rolling for something. Two. This looks like it's a shot on blackout. And he gets nothing. Oh, that's rough. That's the, We're up to 12 green dice with... Uh, you're right, you're right. It's, oh, <laughs> with, man, it's With awful. no evades from, uh, from Jack. Fortunately, this one's range three. So he spent the evade, so he only... That's that's why it's there. That's oh no! Why it's there. Trip hits. Trip hits. So we're gonna see paint now. Statistically, statistically, we've got to see something. There's one of eight, and he can't even <laughs> use auto thrusters oh, dear. because there's no blanks to change. Oh dear. Oh dear. He takes two. So blackout takes two. So what the heck happened to blackout? He took two damage. No, I mean all together. Where is he at? So he's just he's only lost his shield so far. Oh no, didn't he take some damage? Didn't he take one from the X Wing? Producer, the Producer Travis, confused by fire control system, has gone to. Gone to uh, go check. Gone to go check on what, what happened. I mean, Jeff really shouldn't buy any lottery tickets ever. No, no. I'm, I'm glad he finally got paint. Yeah. I'm glad there was finally you some said evades paint. on You doomed him, and then he got a bunch of eyeballs. Yeah, he, I mean, he got 100% paint, but yeah. only one of it was useful because he didn't have a focus. Yeah. So. Again, he did an aggressive move, and that's what the intensity was for, but because he had to spend the focus the previous turn. Yeah. Oh. It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's going rough here for, for Jeff. Now, the only good news is, is that there is only two hull left on that uh, red squad number three. Yeah. It's uh, So, if he gets a little luck, maybe I should rephrase. If he gets a big pile of luck, maybe he can take that guy out and not lose his ship. Now, these ships don't have... Integrated astromech. He's opted for auto thrusters, which so far has been the right call. I mean, there have been a couple of points where he could have taken some more damage, especially in that initial joust. Um, it's certainly interesting. Uh, I, I imagine we're going to see Red Three continue to bail. A uh, three bank boost is probably going to be it, and it's going to be. Blackout did take damage, but it's going to be difficult for Evan, from where Jeff has placed Blackout. To get, to get guns on him next turn. And we've got to keep in mind that that silencer does not have advanced sensors. So he's got to do a move and not hit that rock. So we're at 27 minutes remaining in the match. It's gone quickly. It's it has. gone really it has. quickly. This is a very, very big tanky ships playing conservatively. It's going to be you know, a very rough game. Jeff's pressed uh, in, right, pushing to do damage, which has brought him into the arcs of the other two ships. So we're just going to see a brawl now, right? Evan bailed it, bailed on his ships because he had bailed all of his ships because he had the game. So yeah. he was up on points. Now we're seeing Jeff threaten Red Three, working to bring it down, kill it, get ahead on points. So Evan's uh, at least Evan's plan this turn, I imagine, is to take out Night Beast and or Omega Specialist. Yeah. Probably Omega Specialist, right? If well, I were Blackout's him... Blackout's only got three hull, so he could actually go for Blackout, too. I just don't think that he has an advantageous position to get all of his guns on Blackout. And Blackout can get really tanky if he wants to. Yeah. Or get out of there. Omega Specialist is a lot juicier of a target, probably because he can get Reds 1 and 2, who are unscathed. You can put 68 points on 29. It's a really and interesting take situation it off the board. for Jeff. It's a it's a tightrope walk. He's got to do something risky, but he's also got to get damage in. Absolutely. Um, now, unfortunately for him, uh, Red Three can do a three bank boost with the FAA barrel roll and then boost. Sorry, barrel roll then boost. Yeah. And he's just like so far away. So Jeff's got to keep that in mind. It's a hard three. Hard three. Unless and then... he's talenting. It would be so ballsy to tell him. Okay. No, it's the hard three. So that's the dude. Will he barrel roll past blackout? Like, is that... It's going for... Barrel roll over beside blackout and then boost? So he was checking for the FAA there. Yeah. He can use it. 
So he's going to boost back into the fight. Yeah. See, Red Veteran 3 must be the newest admitter member of the squadron, and he's just got to prove his worth to the other guys. He's not running away. Now, he's sticking in the fight. Now, question. Would you switch Auto Thrusters to Integrated Astromech to get Comrie Lay on all of them? Um, uh, Auto Thrusters is so good in certain matchups, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, here's the here's a boost. It's a regular and boost. Regular boost, and he can use intensity there. Get awesome. another token. Double so, tokened again. Absolutely. There he goes, flipping intensity, pulling up a focus. Oh, he's gonna Look at that. kill that Omega Specialist. He's gonna kill it so much. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you should, if you only have a Fork, Force Awakens starter, you should get the Heroes of the Resistance box set. This is a, a question in chat looking yeah. for a recommendation for, for what to buy. For, do they want to play Rebellion? they want to play Rebels? Yep, absolutely. Buy the uh, Heroes of the Re Resistance Absolutely. Set. That is one of the best uh, best dollar for, or value for dollar uh, absolutely. ship packs you can buy. You get yeah. the, uh, the the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. You get the uh, you get the the real Poe, the PS9 Poe, and a stack of great X wings and X wing upgrades. Yeah, that's here. probably more important than the Red Corset at this point. Uh, and uh, another thing, if you're thinking even a little bit about flying competitively, Fair Diaz, also buy yourself an Ostuck gunship. Now this is interesting. He's just. I expected Red One to go after Omega Leader or Omega Specialist. Yeah. And I suppose Evans decided that Red Two can deal with it all by himself. He's got it. He doesn't need to, to worry about it. He can hold it. Oh, a hard one from uh, Night Beast. YOLO. YOLO indeed. So that's got a, a focus and a, an evade from on Red 2. I mean, he he's just can't hurt Red 2 in any substantial way. Does he well, barrel roll out of the arc? He'll be rolling, no, focus. He's going to be rolling three dice. He's hoping to strip a bunch of those tokens. He knows Good Omega point. Specialist is the target. And hopefully Omega, Omega Specialist is going to get out of dodge. Does he make this? No, nah, he does not get out of dodge. He's coming in. No, no, he, he's clear of the, the debris. Sure, but he's just going to die. Yeah, there's no way to get out of that X-Wing's arc, and he doesn't have arc himself. Jeff needs dice luck to survive this engagement that he has not had, <laughs> no, and he does he's not have brutally arc. denied. He doesn't have arc on him, or or a uh, or a target lock on Red Two. So we'll have to see. Yep. He's just gonna focus. Okay, what did Blackout do? I'm excited. Oh, it's a hard, hard turn. Hard three. He's three not, bank. He's not gonna get back on on Red Three. Unless it's a talent. Ooh. I, I, I hope it's a talent. It no, is it's not. not talent. Now he can boost and then barrel roll, and that might get him on target. He uh, can't. He, he doesn't have push the limit. No, I am sorry, folks. No, he doesn't. And he needs a focus because he's going to be shot at range one or two by that T70. Red one. Yeah. Red one. Yep. Red leader. Red leader. Rare leader, I got block out. There you go. Stay on That's, target. Uh, Stay on target. Oh. oh. He's boosting. He's hoping that gets him to range three. I don't I, think I, it will. It, it, it will not. He's hoping just to get crazy lucky. Jeff's been token starved. He's due for some for a turnaround sure, in luck. Sure, sure. That's a very rational thing to think. But it's totally rational. You need the tokens to modify the dice. Yeah. Right. That's how you. That's how you survive. This is a brutally bad position for Jeff. Night beasts, getting one, one hit, and he's saving the focus. And the X-wing just spends the evade. Yeah. Brutal. This could be the end, folks, for our plucky empire. Omega specialist. Is that a shot there? So it looks like X-wing number three is sur uh, shooting at. The TIE Fighter. Poor Night Beast. He spends his focus. Dear me, dear me. Oh, oh. no. He's got, he's, well, got, he's got the focus. To he spend spends it. the focus, takes takes one on Night Beast. So Night Beast takes one, and then we've got. X Wing number two wipes him out. Red two. Red two has his choice of targets. <laughs> he now. does. Uh, and he's, he's taking Night Beast off the board. He's going for the sure thing. 
It's pretty close to sure. Evan Night, is, Beast need, Night Beast needs two of aids to live. Evan has modified every attack die. He and gets then nothing. He just doesn't have it. And that's it for Night Beast. <laughs> two damage. There. Oh, three damage. Three there it damage. goes. Evan has modified every attack die, and I uh, every attack, and I'm not sure if Jeff has modified any yeah. defense att defense. I mean, we're seeing calls. some brilliant flying from Evan. This is this is awesome stuff. <laughs> Timbo is suggesting that because he can't shake, so Jeff, Jeff can't Jeff's shake excited. His eyes. He's got takes a crit. Oh no! What was the um, crit? blackout? We'll wait for the table audio to pull up what crit it was. Weapons failure on blackout. As if just to humiliate him. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, now, Evan's up in points. If Jeff can get a handle back on this game in the remaining 20 minutes, right? Bring blackout back in. Kill red three. He'll be up on points, but he can't lose a mega specialist. Mega Specialist has to get I out think of Dodge. He can't lose anything. He can't. Yeah, well, Blackout needs to live to win the game. And he's got to fix that crit in order to shoot effectively. And his intensity is exhausted. A two die primary is not very good? <laughs> no. No, they're not? Okay. He's got a target lock on that X Wing, but he's got to get Arc. Oh, And he's got to dodge the Arc of Red number one. We've got 18 minutes. 18 minutes left in the round. It's certainly going to be a very interesting 18 minutes. I really want to see how Jeff tries to come back with Blackout. Yep, yep, nice choice of words. How he will try. He will yes, give sir. it a good try. I mean, yeah. it's, it's games like this that make you feel the thematic uh, content of the movies. You know, the plucky empire. Yeah. You know, trying against the horribly impressive rebellion. That's been it's the exactly X-Wing like narrative that. since, yeah. uh, since, I believe, Wave 3. So, <laughs> all of Evan's ships have been painted and are beautiful. You, uh, oh, we're, the we're not, are painted too. They're they're touched up. Nice. It's uh, it's really great. And then he's uh, chat was was raving about it earlier. He's got one of them painted up as a red squadron. Yeah. And uh, he's got the other two. He's gone in with some ink. It looks like, <laughs> you know, touched them all up. Very beautiful ships. Uh, you know, uh, face up. We've had the mining ties on. It's been very gorgeous. They've been done. And then I, I, I mentioned this because I noticed how Blackout looks down here, all matte and rough and mm -hmm. just flat. Um, yeah. I, I don't know if... I want to paint my own silencer. Absolutely. We have uh, Eric Z. He's a local. He paints a lot of ships. He's done up a, a First Order, First Order TIE silencer nice. with the white panels, and it is stunning. He's such a good painter, he makes me not want to paint. Because I paint about as well as, well, not as well as a kindergartner. He has a very unique style of painting. Absolutely. Yeah, he's very, very good. Yeah. Him and Kelvin Lau and uh, a couple of the others. And so that's something we try, we've try. we tried to do in the past with the with the, the league. Lots of people have been busy. Last couple of leagues we haven't had painted ships. But they'll be coming back, I hope. And uh, certainly for the PTL Open, we'll have plenty of painted ships to give away. Awesome. And again, that's something that's coming in September. These ships will not be painted by me, just so you know. Although, I, I, I feel like that would be an honor. Someone should be honored to have one of the ships that you have painted. Uh, it, you know, you just dip it in red, a big big <laughs> pot of red paint. You, you should see the first TIE Fighter I tried to repaint. It's just got this terrible off-orange, like... Uh, panels paint going on on the side is awful. Although TIE Fighter panels are impossible and extremely frustrating to paint. I, I, oh, yeah. I tried to paint some. I'm pretty good at painting. I've repainted some of my ships, but... <laughs> yeah, you're the, pretty good. The, the TIE Fighters panels, I've, I just, I have, I have, I think, eight TIE Fighters just in a bin where I, I tried to do blood stripes, I tried to do white <laughs> panels on the old ones, I tried to do like an ivory TIE Fighter, none of it worked. It was just all, all awful. This is there's not much for for Jeff or Evan to do. I think hard three for blackout is the move here. Uh, that is a, a very powerful move. The three banks also really great. So really, well here know, he needs not to as, keep Ark and, and take his focus so he doesn't die to that X wing that's on him. I was thinking the th the three bank with that barrel roll gives him just as many a barrel roll and uh, end or boost gives him just as many options as the hard three without limiting options. Right, the the hard three definitely limits oh, options. You may have called it here. Oh, wait. The X-Wing is just going to barrel roll to widen its arc uh, with flight assist astromech? It could. 
He can barrel down towards. Oh yeah, he. The, yep. Before I even time to speculate, he had that down yep. next to it. Yeah, it was a plan. Oh. So that was nice. He got a really wide arc there. He's gonna be able to shoot blackout wherever he goes. And he takes a focus because his, his intensity is not available. And Jeff's bare, has used intensity once all game on on blackout. This has been really rough for him. Yeah. I don't know if I like that maneuver. He's not going to be able to shoot on Mega Specialist. Maybe he thinks he can get guns on, on Blackout and kill Blackout. I would I would assume that uh, Omega Specialist is the low-hanging fruit. It would be very easy to pick off and kill. Two turns in a row now, Evan has avoided killing Bla uh, Omega Specialist. And uh, avoided is maybe the wrong word, but not prioritized. Yeah. We've got our table judge uh, moving over and just like looking at us in awe. And, uh, it's awesome, isn't it? You can't shake the X-Wings. Yeah, that's what I would do if I was Jeff. Get in there. You're going to do... Take that long-range shot. He's going to do no damage to number two, but he's going to... Well, he's shooting at number three. That's where his lock is. Uh, you sure? Yep. Because he just barrel rolled to get uh, Sorry. range uh, one. Uh, Mega on. Specialist is going to try to shoot. Um, you would, he would have barrel rolled forward then, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would have. Maybe maybe he didn't notice. I don't know. There's he's got no arc on number two, so. <laughs> maybe he's planning for a future turn. Yeah. He's so. planning his great comeback in the last 13 minutes of this game. Can a barrel roll even Can a barrel roll even get blackout out there? Uh, I was going to say he should barrel roll and then boost, but he can't barrel roll and then boost. Nope. Single action ship. I think that gets out Interesting of the arc. getting out of arcs. He's maybe got a shot on number three. But it, it, he doesn't have a shot, and he's only got two dice anyway. Oh, oh. He's trying for, trying for a target lock? That's confusing. All right, back to dials. Jeff's, uh, they decided no one had any shots, and they just uh, went back to dials. So, All yeah, right. I'm not sure why I didn't barrel roll forward with the Omega Specialist. Maybe he was afraid of getting in red number one's arc. Well, I don't know. That's pretty far out. Man, th all the all Evans' intensities are face up now. I he think can use I th them again. I think that round Jeff was just using as he was just resetting the board. He was taking some time. He was, you know, getting out of arcs and setting up another attack run. Right. Yeah. And uh, the silencer is super fast. He's going to be able to do a five forward and boost. He's going to be able to do a three bank and, and barrel roll, right? Uh, so we'll we'll see. We'll see. We've got 12 minutes remaining. Yeah. It's uh, it's going to be interesting to see if if Jeff can get something off the board. If Jeff can get red three off the board without losing Omega Specialist, he's up on points. And that's the trick. At this point, red number one can just turn in on Omega Specialist and smash him with triple action economy. Yeah. Like I said, you know, uh, Evan didn't prioritize killing Omega Specialist in the last two rounds. And I don't know why. He could have just peeled off one of those X-Wings and taken two shots. It would probably only take one to kill him, and uh, that second shot would, would for sure finish I mean, him off. During that time, he did do some serious work on the artist formerly known as Night Beast, and... And, and the artist formerly known as Black, currently known as Blackout? Yeah, uh, Two Dice McGee. Oh. Well. It's certainly going to be rough trying to kill Red Squadron Vet number three with, uh, if he's got intensity, flight assist, astromech, and uh, two two die attacks. So. Yeah. Evan planning. Jeff planning. Although Jeff's got both his dials down, looks like he's being a little uh, cagey about a mega specialist. But I would imagine we'll just see a one bank here from a mega specialist. And uh, I think if the hope is to shoot uh, red three, he's gonna have to go faster. And this two turn by red two is set up to block that three bank. And shoot uh, Blackout all to death. Oh, interesting. Oh. He's not going to block the three bank now. Oh, what's he doing? I guess he expects... Barrel rolled and evaded. Recharging his comm relay. I mean, he's got focuses. all this stuff now. 
And we have red number three again. Turning so, back in. He's a plucky rookie, that red three. Red three and Omega Specialist are going to be in each other's arcs jousting this round. So he's in his arc, so he yeah. cannot use FAA to boost or barrel roll. If we've seen a three forward from Jeff, I would be really disappointed because he's going to have to barrel roll for the arc. But a three bank would be great. Right? Hopefully, if he's got the three bank, we're going to see a five forward boost from blackout. We're going to get two shots on on red three, and we'll get it off the board. If he can get two shots on red three and swing this game back over to him, that would be great. Wow, look at that. Now that's going to make it, be, make it much harder for Blackout to get in there and fight. Right Now Blackout needs to do something like a, a hard three to the ship's right and, and boost, right? which would keep him out of plenty of arcs. But certainly we've got more than one arc on Omega Specialist, and that means Omega Specialist is probably dead this round. Yeah. Meaning Jeff needs to kill two X-Wings, and that's, I think, impossible in nine minutes, considering how tanky Red Vet 1 and 2 are, and considering that they've taken zero damage this game. And poor Blackout has had her guns wrecked. Yeah. Which is weapons failure. So. Weapons failure. So, yeah, Blackout is only throwing two dice, two dice out of the primary arc. Interesting. Let's. He did a four straight. He did it. four straight puts him in everybody's arc, and he has to barrel roll for a shot. So I'm not sure that that's the world's most brilliant move. Uh, it's uh, he's gonna have to barrel roll up board. He's gonna have to barrel roll to his ships, his ships right, uh, our our left, and uh, I'm not really sure why I'm not seeing a barrel roll template on the board right now. I think that's, he's going to have to barrel roll, try and get a shot on red three, and maybe shoot up red two, but red two's got, got all the tokens in the world. He's, yeah. uh, you know, lit up like Suntir fell. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he can focus up and try to do a damage to red number one, but it's really too late. Ooh. All right, there's the hard three. Looks like hard, hard one. one. Hard one. Yeah. And he needs to fix his guns here. It's what he must do. Oof. Fix your guns, fix your guns. Oh, he is trying. Yes, he got it. Guns fixed. <laughs> so there's okay. a tiny sliver of hope for so he's the got poor a range, embattled empire. A range two shot. On red one. Yep. Did he measure to red three? He might. Did not even try. Two. Aha. Spend the evade, evade takes, takes one damage. One <laughs> damage on red one is, um, I mean... Okay. Now, if Omega Specialist can punch four in, that end with a crit, and that crit is blinded... But his target lock isn't there. No, he's, he's, not... he's got to do it Natty's here. One, two, and three. three. Yeah. But no crit on the end. Uh, focus evade, so he takes... Blows the shields off red one. Yeah. Ooh... Yeah, from the table we're hearing should have barrel rolled. Absolutely. Jeff should have barrel rolled. He's going to eat three attacks here. Now, Omega Specialist only needed one gun on her to, for, to go down. But uh, that's that's tough. So he's starting with red two. Go for red, red two, two. Fully modded dice. Target <laughs> lock and focus for three. Just the target lock. Woo! Jeff should not have spent the focus there, but uh, spends it anyway. He was excited. He had some dice to mod. That's, you know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> he got some paint. Now we got three. Coming from number one. Yeah. Takes two, and he's gone. Yeah. The outcome would have been the same. Would have been nice if the yeah. dice were a little different there. But, uh, woof. Woof. I heard a uh, terrible Jeff. Uh, terrible Jeff. I heard a terrible joke the other day, Aaron. Yeah, is it, is it deeply offensive? Can we tell it on the air? Oh, we can probably tell it on the air. Okay. Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. Uh, how many eggs do you eat for breakfast in France? Or, hell, Quebec. We're a, we're a multi, multicultural Canadian uh, podcast or video here. I think I know the punchline. But Do you know the punchline? Gee, how many, Devin? One, because it's enough. Enough, yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. There's not much we can do at this point, guys. I mean, I think, uh, you know, Jeff, if he gets number three out. Well, he could now conceivably kill either number one or number three. He doesn't have his intensity available to him. Number three is probably just going to get the heck out of Dodge. I think uh, I want to see a five forward from Blackout here. Uh, he has he used intensity and then just has never recharged it, and that's just he hasn't had the opportunity though. I mean, this I, that's got to come down to his flying though. No, what we saw is if you're in the scrum being shot at by multiple ships, you don't have the opportunity to recharge your intensity. Yeah, it's not going to come. It only happens with Vader and Poe because they get it for free basically with their their actions. Evan's been really great about cycling his ships, getting that intensity back up. Yep. You know, Jeff was able to keep the heat on uh, Red 3 for a prolonged period of time, keeping that intensity down. And uh, for sure, that's what he needed to do, but uh, I don't know, it's tough. He's, he's going to take his shots at Blackout. Oh. And Red 3's finally decided to bail. And Evan's done a great job of keeping all of his ships out in the great wide open yeah. you know uh, big Canada is known as big sky country and you s kept away from all the rocks kept it so the blackouts ability hasn't procced once there's the oh, five there's forward I said suit. I wanted to see and that's he's facing down the only guy who is Has, at full health correct and now we could see oh, see he's, he's, he's thinking he's going to bear oh he's going to boost will the boost make it fit, he's going to boost after the he's uh, got to do the try the old imperial try I mean, empires are built on hope, man. I mean, that's that's exactly it, right? Uh, I don't think that clears. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, oh shaky hands. That, that, Stupid those, big those, models. Those ships are just so big. The X-Wing's got their sticking out. The, oh. Oh. Nope, that fit. Oh. It fit. A moment of glory. It fit. But too bad his target lock is, is <laughs> hanging out way out in space on number three. One damage against That's the next wing with great. all the tokens. Yeah, deep rolls the evade. Jeff should try, or Jeff, and, and Jeff hasn't been modding his dice. He just hasn't been able to set up those attack runs where he can make sure that he gets focused target lock here. Evan's turning up intensity on all of his ships. Yeah, I mean, part of that's about Evan's flying, and he's just in those rounds of disengaging, which surprised me. Absolutely. So we have two minutes and a half remaining. Two minutes and a half for rain. Two and a half. Sorry about yelling in your face, stream. Well, I'm from blackout. I think we're we're gonna see a hard one here. It's a very safe and good maneuver. Yep. So it'll just come in, sit there at a, a hard one, focus hopefully. He moved his target lock over to, to red one, and maybe, maybe we'll see. Unplugged the rover accidentally. It's coming back up now. Okay, cool. How long ago Are we recording still? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Someone kicked over the router, folks, so uh, that's the confusion you hear in the background. When you're watching this in the future, you will in not the notice future, a difference. Future, future, future. But, uh, but those of us watching, those 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 people watching live right now may not may not. Uh, yeah, just got on hook. Sorry about that. Some buddy here at 401 Games kicked the router out. Now he's got Random. damage on on a bunch of. Jeff's got damage on a bunch of red vets right now. Two. But he needs to focus that right uh, with a minute left in the game. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're gonna see. I mean, Black House just fighting for honor here. I mean, he can, he can... So I predict a K turn from Red 2. Red 2. By, followed by... Doesn't have Prime Thrusters. Or a yeah. Talon roll? No, number 3's got the Prime Thrusters. Talon. And he's, yeah. he's out of there. A Talon would be, be great for sure. He's got the evade. And it blocks up a couple of maneuvers on Jeff's part. Oh, does it ever. Oh, and the barrel roll. Is he going to be off the board? No, that fits. Nope, that fits, that fits. There he goes. So the uh, flight assist astromech, away he goes. And intensity for focus, so focus evade. Yep. And are we going to see a boost as well for, as well for fun? Yep. 
I mean, look, what's the point of having actions on the action bar if you're not going to use them there, uh, No, there, we Evan? went for a target lock. No. Oh. B. Uh, aggressive. B. B. Uh, aggressive. You know, if he ends up in his arc, why not? No, it's just a hard three or two or something. Oh, hard two. Okay. Yeah. Well, Threatening. It's a, it's a blocking position. And uh, I'm not sure if it is. It, it's I, it would block. I'm not, it's behind blackout, right? You just boosts. Wow. Uh, that blocks the hard two. Yep. But I I expect he's gonna be doing a hard a hard one or a three bank. And I think the the. And Jeff really doesn't care if if red two takes damage because red two is is unharmed. Yeah. And he's carrying an evade token with him anyway. Absolutely. And a he's, target lock. He's not going to take as well. He's not going to be taking much damage. Now he did take all of Blackout's tokens with him, which is interesting. Now Blackout's going to be doing the three bank or three forward. Interesting. But Jeff has constantly been forced or forced to reposition by Evan, yeah. and he has just not been able to keep up. Well, I think we've seen that the Blackout build doesn't have the action economy to deal with these guys. Yeah. Had he had advanced them. sensors push the limit, oh, it's a different story. Yeah. Once that intensity was exhausted uh, the first time, it was, it was hard for him to get it back on, and then he exhausted it again. Yeah. Now we've got a, a range one attack here. He should be, he, he should be, should be taking him off the board. Wow! Yeah! Alright, there we go. This is nice oh, shut up. You can't mod that eyeball. Oh, but he can spend nope, the lock. No, yeah! He can spend the lock, gets the lock back. He's look at that. Whoa! Power, power move. <laughs> didn't reacquire fire control system, just took it away. He's like, no, you're dead. <laughs> no, you're dead. That's great. Alright, okay, poof, so, there he goes. I don't think Jeff understands how blackout's ability works here. You don't <laughs> reduce your own dice by getting shot at through a rock, you shoot them through the rock. <laughs> Jeff is barely rooting for the X-Wing. It's <laughs> uh, been evident all game. <laughs> all right. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So he should be able to save this. Uh, and target we've got lock. A, a target lock spent from the X-Wing. Four dice. Four dice. Four dice. He needs Apparently they're rolling some of Billy's dice. Spin on him. Roll him. Whoa! He takes one and lives, <laughs> and then uh, that's a good and that's game. That's the end of the game. At, uh, at zero minutes, perfect. So Black Evan Cameron lives. will advance in the Prototype Journal League to the semifinals. Good luck, Evan. Well done, Jeff. You saved your honor at the tail end there. At the uh, yeah.